to you, okay, basically they're in a pack and messed up. My top tip actually always is to take it all out, okay, and plan it. Mm -hmm. Don't actually glue anything just yet before you actually bring the pieces together and you think, okay, uh, oh, it doesn't fit. And then what happens then? You start forcing the notches into the slot, uh, slots. And then if they don't fit there, they will start feather. And when they start feathering, when you finally figure it out how they go, you can't put them in because mm. obviously there's too much bulk in it. I hope it makes sense. But anyway, a box like this is always symmetrically designed, so yep. to speak. Okay. So I know that basically this part, okay, will go here. But just by accident, if you were to try to put this panel in here, you know it's not going to go, right? You know it's not going to go because, right, this is the large slot. This is the small slot and the notches are not right. Yeah. And also, we know that our boxes are tilted, so the big top back panel will be taller. Okay. Make sense? Right. Yeah. Okay. So literally, I mean, with the 3D products, generally you have to be, you know, fairly reasonably fast, and that is the reason why you need to do the planning. Okay. So all I am doing, it's actually, you need to rest my hand here so my head will shake a little bit less. Okay. I am always applying for uh, the uh, glue on yeah. both sides because I do want right I do want my um, box to last of course yeah so this goes here okay, okay. right so in this case it's good if you just apply uh, the yeah. side panel do you know, I mean, Next. I don't suppose Sorry. you do know, but and I was just wondering whether we've actually got the glue on the show as well. No, but we, we, will. we, we will. will. We will. Uh, hopefully yeah. in um, would next you, month. What would you recommend then in, in the interim? Book binding? Uh, uh, yeah, you can use book binding. I mean, to be honest, um, I use this one for MDF because it doesn't dry too quickly, okay? But, you know, ultimately, it's unfair to say because if you work too slowly, yeah. right, any glue uh, will take, uh, will dry, yeah. right? So, um it's whatever you find, yeah. okay. you know, easier, but you have to be fairly sort of, you know, uh, yeah. fast. And again, plan your work first. Yeah. Okay. You know, when you're sitting down, your hand, is, yeah. your hand will shake less as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, all this mess, actually, yeah. it's irrelevant because we can tidy that up. So, yeah. right. So, there you go. Now, you see, we also have a lid, which actually is so easily attachable. Right. But nice. you've got to do so it easy, now, isn't it? okay? You've got to do it now. And of course, this panels at the back, you've got to do gently because right. you don't want to actually break it, okay? Yeah, okay? So like here, you see, we've got two notches. They have yeah. to go in. And right now, I can just gently, gently okay. adjust it yeah. and my lid is secured, right. right? Yeah. So we only actually are left with this small uh, back uh, front panel. Yeah. Okay, now, generally speaking, obviously, there's a notch and a little hole. So all of that, especially for the boxes, have to match up, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So I know, again, I've got to put my glue here. Right. Okay. Yeah. On the side panels, on the, the, on the inside, yeah. because at the back we don't have the support. So it's basically on all the little bits that fit into yeah. slots and notches, That's essentially, right. isn't it? Yeah, the reason why I'm kind of doing it is because we do get a lot of emails asking me to do a video tutorials on how to put the th uh, 3d products together yeah. so this hopefully this will actually explain everything so you see I've got a uh, glue on each side yeah but also here where the notches are kind of sticking out yeah. makes sense yeah so I'm going to show you so in a minute in, yeah right, darling, just inside here we can, we can kind of see yeah. it Anna Marie don't worry yeah so there you go okay right so and now right it's very important that you actually align your notches with your um, slots and look yeah. look what happens right there is just not a problem yeah. everything fits in yeah. beautifully together Beautiful. right yeah. and easy what I would always just say just hold on to these things together okay, okay just for now because uh, you want them to be nice and tight yeah. right so what I am going to do now as I'm holding on to it I will actually also um, tidy up the mess right. okay yep so if we were at home I mean yeah. would we just leave it or would you recommend I Right, number one, what I would do, as I'm holding on to it, really, right, just okay. this, like, maybe you don't see my do finger, but I'm, ho no, I'm actually to, holding sure? on with one okay. finger here and one pushing in, and then my brush will now tidy up. So what you're okay. just literally sort of tidying up the excess glue, yes, yeah? Yes, that's it. Right, okay. 
I mean, obviously, if we left it as it is, then it would give us an extra dimension, of yeah. course. But, you know, when you are doing something like this, it's, on, it's a home digger pro yeah. project, so it's kind of nice. So I'm holding on. Wouldn't these be so useful to have at home, even for, like, our own bits and pieces? I mean, I letters, right? Anything like, I don't know, um, bits and pieces, just like yeah. you always like, end up with. Precisely, particularly in the kitchen. Yes, I've done coins. everything in the kitchen. Yeah, anything. But actually, do you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking our jewellery. Yeah. Um, you know, things like if you've got like a lot of costume jewellery, bangles, stuff like that. Yeah. It never ever fits in, exactly. in small little jewellery boxes. Exactly. Um, also, what else was I thinking Makeup. of? Um, hair stuff. Uh, hair <laughs> bands, grip. Makeup. Makeup, I mean, yeah. literally anything, anything. Love the so, idea of it. And yeah. of course, to decorate it and give it a gift. Exactly. And it's always matching with the walls that you have and, you know, with what you want yeah. to yeah. match. Okay. So I think this is good. You see, the back panels, we don't have to worry about it because they are now, they've got different system of uh, locking so yeah. that's brilliant so it's just the front but everything is nice and straight yeah my box is ready right okay lovely. but you could also do quite a, quite a masculine one for like your yeah. dad maybe for father's day somewhere absolutely you know, well was it well you could do tools yeah i was thinking more about like somewhere where guys can put like their cufflinks their yeah. watches anything um all those things squares that you know that like you wear with your pocket squares with your suits and stuff like that gosh uh, it's amazing really how much different bits and pieces yeah. you generate i mean i have a dog so i would put her like a favorite treat and in fact, I was actually doing, going to do a box really with Aww. her name on it and just all the treats going in there. Well, I, I um, when Oban uh, passed away, I bought uh, a memory box for him, which, to be honest with you, it, it's a bit too big. Um, and it's lovely, but it cost me, I think it cost me like nearly 40 quid. And I was just oh. thinking, actually, that would be a perfect size. If you want to maybe put just their collar in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anything. I mean, you know. something like that. So I, I, had, I needed a big one because I put his ball in it. Of course, he was a big dog, so he had a big ball. Uh, the small box, by the way, just to let you know, 20% of the stock has sold out and gone. Don't...